Hi, I'm Christine and I love to draw. Today I want to show you how I draw several different boats using a figure eight. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we just need basics, paper, pencil, and erasers. If you've got blending stumps too, that's great. To get started, we're going to draw a figure eight laying over on its side and I'm going to make mine narrow uh, and flat. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line on the right side uh, back toward the center and put a short line back at the other end. We're going to make a curved line connecting that up there and a line across the bottom and presto, we've already got something that's starting to look like a boat. Now I'm going to use my eraser and erase this little bit out of here so you can start seeing uh, the boat taking shape. Then I'm going to uh, start adding more details and this right here is actually called the stem. I found that out by looking up that stuff online. Uh, then I'm going to draw some lines around the top here and just start putting in um, basic things that I remember that are going to make this a boat. Like I'm going to put a, a seat back in here to sit on because uh, somebody's going to sit in this boat. Then we draw the planks and uh, to do those you just kind of make a curved line sort of following the shape of the top edge of the boat up there from the letter eight I mean the number eight that we drew and then put a little bit of shading right in there get started on that and um, let's put a mast in just draw a line straight up near the front end of the boat and uh, I put my pencil over on its side and run it up there and then use the tip to draw the other side and I and I get a nice line. Now this line right here is called the boom and we're just gonna uh, draw that out and then put uh, a sail onto it and then we need some lines because there's always lines connecting those things back down to the front and back end of the boat and I'm gonna put a little bit of shading but actually I'm gonna use my tortillon, my blending stump and I'm just going to use it to kind of smooth and blend um, and shade areas. I used to use my fingers for this and uh, it's way better to buy these tortillas. They're very cheap and affordable um, and, and you can do a lot with them. And I'm going to, uh, after I just smooth these few things out, I'm gonna use the graphite that has rubbed off onto my tortilla and I'm gonna use that to put the shading in on the sail and make that look good and then let's put some water under this boat um, I'm gonna put darker shading and darker color right up close to the boat because that's where there would be a darker sh shadow or something of the boat on the water and then maybe we need to uh, set it into a scene of some sort so as I'm extending this water up I'm looking at it and thinking what might be there um, probably there'd be a little piling or or a, a dock or something pier uh, that the boat would be tied off to so there we go and look at that that's a really nice little scene going there I'm gonna just think that whoever uh, owns this boat is either laying down in the bottom of it taking a little siesta or maybe they're up on the bank fishing now let's draw another one with a, a rounder, fatter fi figure eight. And let's make it face the other direction. So we'll make the front end over here and we'll make it pointy on the end, but the back end I'm gonna make flat just by putting two straight lines there and then drawing our baseline uh, where the boat's sitting in the water right there. And I'll just draw some water along there and erase my unnecessary lines. And then I can start filling in the lines to make this look like a boat. And none of this is hard, this is super easy. I'm going to just uh, darken these lines around here and let's make a little bit of the keel show right there. And um, I don't really know exactly how the boards would go on the back end. Uh, the planks on the sides, again, you just kind of make them follow that curve of the top edge. And I guess I'll make the planks on the back go up and down. Seems like as good an idea as any. Put some more shading in. 
and blend it a little smooth. I'm smoothing out the color there is what I'm doing, but I'm not really rubbing it so hard that it erases all my lines. Now uh, I just take my tortillon and my pencil and go back and forth adding more and more details, more dark shadow under the water, uh, and, and I'm, I'm making this up as I go. I'm not really looking at any reference photos, but I'm, I've looked at enough boats and I think that I can make this up pretty good, except I don't really know the structure inside the front end here, but that's close enough, I'm sure. Now before I draw the rest of those planks, I want to draw the seat in it. And also, um, since we did one with the mast, I want to make this one be, uh, let's have someone sitting on this seat actually rowing this boat. So I'm just going to draw uh, the back of this person and make a kind of a squarish rectangle and then put shoulders on it and then put sleeves on that. And then I uh, draw some arms, at least draw, draw the arm out to the elbow and then it bends right there. Um, and, and you don't have to make it highly detailed at all, just, just kind of the indication of something and, uh, and that's good enough because it's pretty small and also the, that's not the focus of the picture, we're trying to draw the boat. Um, but let me erase some of those extra lines so you can hopefully see uh, this little guy taking shape in here in this boat. He needs a head. And since it's the back of him that we're looking at, I'm just going to color it all in like it's hair on the back of his head. And then, um, let's see, I need to figure out how this oar is going to go. Uh, let me use my pencil and kind of gauge it. Uh, I think I did it wrong. Um, it kind of looks like, maybe it looks like he's falling out of the boat. <laughs> Oh well, maybe he'll get wet, I don't know. Um, I'm going to use this blending stump and just spread some of that around a little and shade the back of that shirt, maybe smooth out the back of the head, um, smooth the details inside the boat and might want to make some of those areas a little bit darker so he stands out a little bit. But this is just the tweaking the details part. Uh, really. You can't, you almost can't mess it up. But anyway, there's a nice guy rowing a boat. Now let's try something a little bit different. We're gonna draw another elongated flat figure eight. And then I'm going to draw a couple of short little lines here and make uh, a back end on this boat that is wide and not very tall. Then I'm going to, uh, put the bottom of the boat where the the line where the boat meets the water on and I'm going to put a, kind of a pointy front end on it and I'm going to draw that line right along there um, coming back under the along the bottom edge of that figure eight then I'm going to put the top edge of the boat on and just draw that right back to the that top corner of the back of the boat that we created then I can look and see where the far edge of the boat would be and draw that line in and it goes back to that corner but as you can see we can't exactly draw it right back to there so we just uh, fudge a little and put that in there and it works it's not exactly accurate um, but it's close enough now um, the back angle of the boat is a little bit wrong when you started off with figure eight like that um, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. You can still get a cute little boat picture out of it, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw that now and show it to you and show you how to do that. But um, in next, I'm gonna show you how to do this same boat, but without actually drawing that figure eight, because what you wanna do is get the boat drawn where you can see the whole top side of the boat. Um, the whole flat top surface. But let's go ahead and get uh, uh, the rest of this one drawn. I put a mast on it and I'm going to put a man sitting in that little cockpit area there. And, uh, and, and it'll be cute and, and, and accurate enough for a pretty picture. But once you've got the hang of drawing these boats with the figure eight, you can kind of start to 
um, almost like wean yourself away from that a little bit because you start to know what parts of the go boat go where and really that's the whole point of using that figure eight um, in the first place is it helps you get a good gauge of the placement of the different parts of the boat the bow and the stern and you know all that kind of stuff where the where to put the sides out on it and so once you get the hang of that then you will find it a whole lot easier to uh, draw a, a lot of different kinds of boats and sometimes you won't want to use that figure eight but uh, anyway see here I'm, I'm doing just what I did on the other one I put dark shadow under the boat and I put a sail on and I use my tortillon to uh, blend everything around smooth it out and, and put a little shading on the sail and there's a cute boat now let's do that again without the figure eight I'm going to draw that angle uh, of the top edge of the back of the boat and then put the sides on it and then I'm going to mark a little spot for where the front of the boat is and I'm going to draw the baseline um, oops I looked at my reference page and picture and I, and I missed the dot um, draw the uh, those two lines and then draw the third one for the far edge of the boat and once again I'll just show you that's it oh, that exactly what we did was we put the back of the boat on and then we drew the bottom uh, line where the boat meets the water and then we put in that top line and on the left hand one I just put it in there where I knew it needed to go without depending on the figure eight. Uh, and you can see the difference in the left hand boat, we can see the whole entire surface of the top of the boat, just like in my reference picture here. And you can see this whole cockpit area um, and you can see where, how to put these, the cockpit in. You just follow the same angle as the back of the boat uh, for the front of the cockpit you draw the line back. Then you put it at the back of the cockpit, just follow that angle of the back, the top of the back of the boat, and um, then you just kind of start darkening your lines in. Uh, I am leaving off that outboard motor. I just wanted to simplify the drawing for that, so I'm, I'm not putting a tiller or a rudder or an outboard motor or anything like that in there. Um, I'm just putting in these lines uh, to mark the edges of the cockpit, and then I'm putting the little guy sitting in there relaxing and once again he's just a little rectangle or square and I put shoulders on it and then I put arms extending out uh, and this arm is kind of laying oops I had to change my lighting sorry about that um, this arm is kind of laying up on the edge of the boat right along the edge of the cockpit there and then I draw a neckline on his shirt and then uh, put a little bit of a neck going up there and put a head on him and I'm not going to put any well not much of any detail uh, I'm not going to try to make an exact profile or anything like that because really he's pretty small and far away and, and we don't need all that detail just get the general idea of the shape of the head there and uh, darker on the back side where his hair is and then I use the blending stump to um, smudge that around a bit make it look like the side of his face on the side away from the Sun is in dark shade and then I shade the shirt a little bit and uh, put a little bit more definition there maybe color in under under the sleeve like where his armpit would be make that a little darker so it kind of delineates and shows up okay there's an arm there and then I finish out the uh, far side of the boat uh, after I've got him in position there and uh, shade in the interior of the cockpit in front of where he's sitting but you can see this looks really good and you've you've got uh, you've got a different angle on this boat you're looking down at it and seeing the top surface uh, and you didn't draw the figure eight but at the same time it really was no more difficult to draw this than it was to draw the ones using the figure eight now uh, my pencil is a little bit um, longer than the length of the boat and 
shorter than the mast. So I made a nice long mast on there. And now I'm gonna put a nice uh, boom on it and then a really tall, pretty sail. Now I'm gonna use my eraser and just kinda smudge it right up along the right hand side or the sail side of the mast and, and smudge that really good uh, up all the way up there and what that does it takes off some of the uh, right hand side I don't know if I said that right uh, the sail side the right hand side of my mast it takes some of that away and gives the impression that the sail is billowing out in front of the mast a little bit there and then I just go back to uh, adding the details uh, drawing things in shading and blending with the uh, blending stump. Use my eraser on it a little bit there to make that look better. Now we need our lines coming down from the top of the mast. There'll be a couple of those uh, on the front of the boat and then we have a couple of lines coming off the boom and going to the center of the back of the boat and those uh, come down right in front of where the guy's sitting and also the mast uh, is making a shadow on the top uh, of the boat so we draw that in, and now I'm going to shade the back end of the boat because that's in shadow. That side of the boat is away from where the light would be. I guess he's uh, he's sailing into the sunset, maybe. Um, so we sh shade the side a little bit, not quite as dark as the back, and just keep tweaking your details till you get it like you like it. And once again, this boat needs some water to be um, sailing through. So I'm going to put uh, a wake going out the back because that will show um, motion. Uh, I'll leave some white edges around that and, and that'll be little, uh, the little wake that goes behind the boat. And uh, I'm making mostly flat water here. So I'm going to keep a lot of my lines going uh, real left and right horizontal and I'm uh, going to try to remember I, I want to make some of this darkness go up the side of the boat just a little bit um, to blend in with the shadow and then I want to try to remember to leave some white showing here and there where there might be little bits of white cap or something um, and Go ahead and get this water back on the other side of the boat. Now, um, if you look in your reference photos, most all the time there'll be something back there along the horizon. Most of the time. You got some trees. Um, sometimes it's a really little bitty line of land or trees or something. Occasionally you're in open water and there's nothing back there, but most of the time there's at least a little bit of something. Um, here's one that's actually the boat's pulled up on the beach. Um, and also sometimes you want to make your trees a lot bigger and that makes them look closer. And uh, here's one that's a real pretty sunset sail picture. And uh, you can see the boat's mostly a silhouette there. You'll keep that in mind when you're uh, painting or coloring it. And uh, you've got a little bit of land back there that's uh, also the color it would indicate that it's more of a a silhouette or you know just a, uh, a shadowed bit of land um, so I'm gonna draw a horizon line here and then I'm gonna color some trees onto it and they're really easy to do you just kind of um, scribble a little bit of uh, scruffy looking kind of rounded tops mostly but but not not carefully rounded, just a little bit of a messy stuff back there that indicates some trees off in the distance. And as I come more to the right hand side, I'll make those trees get a little bit taller and a little bit taller, and that makes them look closer. It helps to uh, indicate distance in your picture. And the clouds just came out, so my studio got dark for a minute, but think my camera will adjust if we give it a second. Uh, but anyway, now I'm going to make a bit of a reflection of those trees down into the water there, just by smearing that 
uh, some of that graphite down with my uh, blending stump. It works really great for that. And there I've got a good reflection going on and got a really pretty boat picture drawn. Easy peasy. Uh, now let's make a quick recap. I'm going to draw three different uh, figure eights up here. A flat one, a big, bigger round one, and then one that's really big on one side and really little on the other. Uh, just to show you, you can get a lot of variety and uh, you can make your boats be facing away from you, you can make them be coming towards you, you can make them pointy on the bow or on both ends, or you can make it flat on uh, the, the stern end. Um, you can make part of the keel show if you want to. And in fact, I will just go ahead and do that on this one. Draw a bit more of the keel and uh, let's just make this one look like it's been pulled up onto the beach. So I'll draw some uh, indication of some water back there behind on the other side of the boat. And then this will look like a little bit of that um, seaweed or messy sand or something up on the beach. And um, then I'll go ahead and put a mast on it. And since it's just sitting there on the beach, it's not going anywhere and the sail is all slack. So I'll just draw that kind of hanging down. About like that. That looks pretty good. And there's that kind of a boat. Um, you, you really can just do all kinds of ideas. Just play with it and, and come up with all kinds of, of neat looking boats from the figure eight. And the more you do that, the more comfortable you get with it, the easier it will be uh, for you to just start drawing uh, this other style of boat where you don't actually start with the figure eight. Just start with like the back end or whatever part you're comfortable with and throw in a few quick lines and uh, then you've got a really cute, pretty little boat drawn. Easy as pie. So um, that's about it for today. I uh, hope you had as much fun drawing boats as I did and that you will um, come and create art with me again another time. And to that end, if you click on the subscribe button below, you can get notified when I put another video up, which I will be doing uh, in the next week, I think I'm going to put up a video of watercolor painting uh, some of these boats, and that'll be really fun. So um, if you liked this video, click like for me, and uh, also if you want to tell me something or ask me something, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. So uh, thanks again, and I hope to paint and draw with you again soon.